for Washington's failure to govern. Mr. President, I yield the floor. Mr. President. The Senator from Georgia. Mr. President, I'd like to ask unanimous consent that immediately following my remarks, the Senator from Vermont, Senator Sanders, be recognized. Without objection. Mr. President, I rise today not to talk about Obamacare, not to talk about a shutdown, not to talk about the debate we've been going through the last couple of days, but rather I rise to talk about a man by the name of Chris Carr, who is my chief of staff and has been my chief of staff since I've been in the United States Senate. Chris will be leaving my office on November 1st to become the Commissioner of Economic Development in the state of Georgia, a tremendous opportunity for him and for my state. While it's a loss for me personally, it's a continuation of economic development in my state where my fingerprint still lies because he will be replacing my former state director, Chris Kaminsky, who has been the Commissioner of, De of Economic Development in the state of Georgia, which means I'll still have that fingerprint there. But Chris is a very special person that deserves a tribute on the floor of the Senate for all that he has done for me, not just as a member of the Senate, not just as my chief of staff, but as a deep and abiding personal friend. Chris joined me in 2003 when I announced to run to replace Zell Miller, who retired as a senator from Georgia. Chris, before that, had been an attorney at Austin Byrd for what he always refers to as a 15-minute brief time period. But he went on from there to be an advisor to the Georgia Public Policy Foundation and a dear friend of ours by the name of T. Rogers Wade, who, by the way, was the executive director for Herman Talmadge and chief of staff years ago in the United States Senate. Chris joined me in 2003 for a great adventure, my race for the United States Senate. And he guided us through a primary a lot of people said I couldn't win. A lot of people said I would never win without a runoff. My two opponents were a former congressman from the state of Georgia and Herman Cain, whom everybody knows, later ran for president of the United States. Georgia is a primary state that requires 50% plus one in terms of votes. So we had to get 50% plus one in a Republican primary. We did that without a runoff because of Chris's leadership and his dynamics and his hard work and how he guided that campaign. So when we won the general election by 58.8% was our vote that time. I brought Chris to Washington, D.C. to be my chief of staff in my office, and he has done a phenomenal job. He's traveled with me to Africa, as the president knows, because we've been together on some of those trips. He's guided me through difficult times in my journey from the Foreign Relations Committee to the Finance Committee to the Commerce Committee and around. He's been a great guiding hand, but most importantly, he's brought together a staff that's been loyal, dedicated, and gotten the job done for the people of the state of Georgia. Chris is a great Georgian. He is what we refer to in our state as a double dog. He graduated his undergraduate degree from the University of Georgia, which I might add beat LSU very handily last Saturday, and then went to the law school at the University of Georgia to get his second degree, a Bachelor of Laws degree from the University of Georgia. After that, he went on, to, as I said, to Austin Byrd, then went on to the Public Policy Foundation, but he's been for me with me ever since, almost a decade, and during that period of time, he has served me as chief of staff. My Deputy Chief of Staff, Joan Kirsten, will be replacing him as Chief of Staff, so we'll have a continuity of service in our office. But I know I would not be where I am today if it weren't for Chris Carr, and I know the state of Georgia is going to go places it never thought it would go because of his guiding leadership as Commissioner of Economic Development. So for a brief minute on the floor of the United States Senate, I want to pay tribute to a friend, a Chief of Staff, a leader, someone who had a positive influence on my life, but most importantly has had a positive influence on his country the United States of America. I'm thankful to Chris Carr for his support, and I'm thankful for all he's done for my state and my country and our office. And I yield back my time and defer to the Senator from Vermont. 